Well, officials at FEMA want you to prepare and protect. That's the theme for this month's uh, National Preparedness Month. Dina Kupfer is standing by with the tips you need to keep you and your family safe. Yes, and I know here in Northern California, we have dealt with so many wildfires. So many families are still reeling from fires years ago, and then, of course, the ones that we've seen this summer. And FEMA is part of the plan of who you go to to find out more information, especially as you're trying to reenter and repopulate your neighborhoods. So this morning, we are joined by Paul Huang, who is the Acting Associate Administrator of Resilience. And so thank you so much for joining us and taking time. First of all, talk about Preparedness Month and the role that FEMA plays this September. And thanks for having me. I love September. It's like the return of football season, back <laughs> to school. But it also is National Preparedness Month. Yes. And this year's theme is prepare and protect. And we're just encouraging everyone to take some actions to prepare your families uh, in case a disaster strikes. And you all are rolling out a big campaign. Uh, there's a PSA that's out now. And so what is the real message? Because across the country, we all deal with all, deal with our fair share of natural disasters and, and other things. Yeah, definitely. You know, with extreme weather and climate change, uh, we're seeing disasters happen everywhere across this country. In fact, this summer, one out of three Americans um, faced a, a weather event of some sort, a disaster of some sort. So we're encouraging folks to just make a plan. It's a very simple thing. Sit down with your families and talk about what if things happen? You know, what if our phones go down? How do we reach each other? Who's picking up the kids at school? Um, what are we doing in terms of an evacuation? Do we know where to go if we had to go somewhere? Yeah, and, and if we can talk more specifically about the wildfires here in Northern California for just a moment, our families, so many of them lost homes and maybe won't have a place to go home to, at least not a permanent spot for quite some time. So what is the real message for folks who are preparing specifically for a wildfire? Yeah, there's for wildfire, there are definitely some things beyond just making sure that your families had that conversation of, you know, um, do we have a go kit? Are there things that we need to take pictures of in case we have to file an insurance claim? And um, beyond that, for wildfires, you know, clean out the area. Make sure that there's not, you know, piles of, uh, of uh, wood or um, even lawn furniture that could create um, some of that, uh, you know, that wildfire uh, concern. Yeah, that fuel that can certainly spark or just make something worse outside of your home. Well, Paul, we really appreciate the time this morning. What is the best way for people to get more information? I know you are such a wonderful resource, again, not just for us in California, but across the country. You've dealt with hurricanes and tornadoes and so many other weather events this year. So how can people find out more? Definitely go to our website, ready.gov. We also have a Spanish version at listo.gov and also download the FEMA app. Those are some great resources you can use. All right, sounds good. The FEMA app, so easy. Everything is available at the click of a button these days on our phones. Paul, thank you so much. We appreciate your time, and we'll be right back with more right after this quick break. Stay with us.